what happens when you challenge a football player to an erg competition? Sheer satisfaction. It's a really amazing the amount of pain these guys can go through. Your mind's saying, let's stop, let's stop, let's stop. You've got to train yourself to always break through that. Success in rowing is based on the amount of work you put in. The more time you spend training, the more hours you spend in a boat, on an herd, with your heart rate accelerated, the more successful you're going to be. No! In the ergometer, what we are able to do is create an environment where the guys can sit on the machines and produce power. When you're on the water, there's a lot of other factors. The boat can be unbalanced, it can be a little bit of a side wind. But when you're on a rolling machine, there's nothing to prevent you. The thing is stable, you've got the monitor in front of you, so you're just driving that thing as hard as you can. There's the screen there that tells you exactly how hard you're pulling, and you can't hide. You can't pretend to pull hard, it doesn't matter what face you make, the screen doesn't lie. Rowing is not a serene sport, it's not a sport of gentlemen, period. Rowing is a pain contest, and there are very few gentlemen that are willing to endure it. And I'm looking into their eyes, and I see their eyes roll back in their head. And I have to call that guy's name to bring him back, and focus it back in on me. It's pretty unbelievable that you look at the oar and they still got full power. When you go through like, you know, a really grueling hard workout, you feel, you know, you're tired because you're like, man, I, I really just made myself better. I went out there, I'm a little faster now, you know, I'm a little stronger now. But at the end of the day, the amount of pain they go through is excruciating. And until you've done it, you, have, you can't even conceptualize it. I've seen it, I've seen it in front of my face, I still don't understand it. I still don't understand how they're able to do it and still be focused so technically on their own. You don't have a choice, and every practice you don't have a choice, really. If you want to win, and we all want to win. When it's an Olympic final, people will do things and will sum up an awful amount of courage and strength that you may previously have underestimated them on. It's a head game at this level. It's a measure of who can sit in the pain the longest and push in it the longest. It's going to take a lot of suffering. I think it's probably going to take about eight stretchers and they're going to all have to be at the finish line because these guys are, are willing to go that far. During the catch, shin should be close to reaching 90 degrees. The body angle should be set and does not change. The head should be level and looking forward. There should be straight arms and the back should be straight. The upper body should also be relaxed. During the drive, it's important to initiate with the legs and pull back straight. You want to hook the oar and hang on with the lats. In the finish phase of the stroke, it's important to sit up tall on your sit bones and support the lower back. Pressure should also be kept on the feet. It's important to pull the oar into the chest. During the recovery, it is important to have quick hands away from the body, leading into setting the body angle. Hands should be level, the upper body relaxed, and there should be a gradual roll into the catch.
During the first session with us, the subject was given verbal instruction as well as manual adjustment. You can see she has made a change in the way that she holds the oar. As well, we are working on getting her to sit up at the finish. You will notice that the subject does a good job here of keeping her arms straight, hands level, and getting her shins to 90 degrees at the catch. If you draw your attention to the subject's feet, you will notice the toes coming off of the foot piece. The subject needs to keep pressure on the feet and support her body at the finish, not letting her lower back collapse. Before this rowing session, the subject observed herself on video and was given critiques and cues to implement. Such cues included lifting the oar into the water over the toes, less layback at the finish, and to look forward. You'll notice a significant difference in the pressure kept on the feet throughout the stroke and the support of the lower back at the finish. Also, be aware of how the subject is more relaxed in the forearms and shoulders. With much improvement, we had our subject follow another rower and mimic the blade work. Blade timing is a difficult component of the sport. We want to congratulate our subject for outstanding effort in the whole project. Yeah, just come away from the body faster.